for years now, Camden Council has been looking at ways that we could tackle fuel poverty. As a council, we listened to our residents and one of their number one concerns was cold air coming into the flats and heat escaping in the winter. People who go into cold homes or children that sleep in cold homes at night get many more upper respiratory tract infections, they can't do well at school, older people, as you know, cold weather is very detrimental to their health. I've lived on this estate for 20 years and I particularly wanted a ground floor flat. This is what I wanted, it was my dream, because of the cat. It's a lovely flat, but it's a bit, it's a bit cold and drafty. There were big drafts coming up through the floorboards because I'm on the ground floor. If, if you lifted up the floorboards, you'd see there was about a three foot gap. You could actually feel the drafts wafting up through the gaps. It was cold. What is one of the best ways you can help people? By insulating their homes. To insulate under the floor, you would normally have to remove the floor, which of course means that you first of all need to remove what's above it, the furniture, the carpet, the fittings. Cut insulation panels to shape, fit an airtight membrane, put everything back together again and redecorate. That can take many weeks, costs huge amounts of money and is highly disruptive to the people living in the property. We can do all of that in a day with none of the disruption and at a fraction of the cost by using a robotic device. Cubot works by using a small robotic device that is powerful and can accurately apply insulation remotely. The device can fold up and fit through small gaps. We can insert it through an air vent or through a small access hatch within the property. It deploys within the void between the floor and the ground and then is driven around building up a map of the space. The operator can then select where he wants to insulate and the insulation is applied to the underside of the floor, keeping the floor on the warm dry side and still allowing the ground to breathe. I think he only lifted up floorboards in one room actually. I don't think somehow the robot must have got around the whole flat from there. I don't know how. <laughs> Oh, and it didn't disturb the cat either. The cat didn't look distressed. We did the installation of Qbot in several homes, and now we're looking to see how residents have got on with it, and the feedback we've had is, is very encouraging. It does feel warmer in here. It did immediately, actually. Qbot's underfloor insulation is applicable to any property which has a suspended floor, a suspended timber floor or a suspended concrete floor. We've installed the solution at a range of different properties for a number of uh, councils and housing associations up and down the country. That includes very old properties, Georgian or Victorian properties, right up to properties built in the last five to ten years. In Camden we're very innovative and I would say very progressive, so we want to try our new solutions to problems that people keep raising with us again and again. What's not to like about Qbot? It's safe, it's non-disruptive, it makes people's houses warmer and can save bills.